to it too. We notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. We do sweet things, sweet Saturday, some sort of delicious vegan sweet treat. Um, in today's video, today's video is actually a bonus video. It's Thursday, and I don't usually post on Thursdays, but I'm making today's video as a thank you to you guys. I've reached over 5,000 5, subscribers this morning. Um, it's when I noticed, so I was like, I have to make a video saying thank you um, for you guys for uh, subscribing and getting me to 5,000 so quickly, it feels like. And um, so, yeah, thank you guys, and I'm going to go ahead and be making a delicious bonus recipe for you guys. Today, I'm going to be making some cinnamon rolls, and these are going to be so delicious, ooey gooey, and yep, yeah, let's get it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So for the inside of our uh, cinnamon rolls, we're going to be using a fourth of a cup of sugar. And we're going to be using one teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. And we're just going to go ahead and mix this up together. And I'm also going to be using about a fourth of a cup of chopped nuts. And here I'm using almonds, but you can use any nuts that you would prefer. So once we have this all nice and mixed up, we can go ahead and put this to the side. And I'm going to be using Pillsbury Crescent Rolls as our dough. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and start unrolling our dough. And for this, you could actually use uh, the Crescent Roll Dough, like the sheets. Um, I just discovered the other day by accident that they have Crescent Roll Sheets. Um, instead of the dough uh, for the actual crescent rolls, which comes perforated, but it doesn't really make a difference. In the end, the little perforations are not going to make any difference in your recipe. So I'm just like pinching the perforations together. Next here I have one, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of uh, melted vegan butter. And I just flashed a little bit of vanilla extract just to add a little extra flavor and next I'm going to go ahead and just put some of this butter onto our uh, dough and then I'm going to go ahead and just spread it around with my hands. You can use a brush. Um, I don't have a brush. I don't know why. I just don't have a brush because I use my hands. But uh, yeah, you can use a brush if you like. And next we're just going to go ahead and add in our filling. You don't have to add nuts if you don't want to either. And then I'm just going to spread it out a little bit with my hands. This smells so delicious, you guys. You have no idea. It's such a like cliche to say, I wish I had smell a vision but it's so true. I wish I had smell a vision so you guys could smell how awesome this is. Alright, and next step, we're just going to go ahead and start rolling it long ways. Just make sure you get it like as tight as you can. You see little perforations. It's not a big deal. And next I'm going to go ahead and be cutting these into about an inch thick rolls. And I'm using a perforated knife, but it's not like a super, like a bread perforated knife. It's just like a, a very small perforated knife. You don't want like the dough dragging all over the place, but you want it to be easier to, to slice. So all the way across, one inch thick. And next I'm just using this small like casserole dish or just like little Tupperware and I'm going to go ahead and place these into there. You just want to use any like uh, any sort of like square small pan that you have or if you don't have like a square pan just make sure you put them together. I like to put them next to each other so they're touching. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and place these into the oven 375 degrees for 15 minutes. And while our cinnamon buns bake, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make a very simple 
uh, glaze or icing or frosting for uh, your buns or rolls. So I have one teaspoon of butter in this bowl and I'm going to go ahead and add in one cup of powdered sugar and I'm going to go ahead and just mix the powdered sugar around with the butter and I'm going to slowly add in uh, some soy milk you can do almond milk or any milk that you prefer, any like non-dairy milk and I'm just going to go ahead and add it in slowly just because you want to make sure that the thickness is right so I want to say I added in about two tablespoons and the reason I said add in the milk slowly, even though I did about two tablespoons, um, I still I feel like I added in a little too much milk. So you just if you feel like you add a little too much milk and it gets too runny, just add a little bit more powdered sugar, and vice versa. If it's a little uh, uh, too firm, you can go ahead and add a little more milk. And the thickness of the icing is pretty much like a personal preference. That's why I didn't go like too specific. Um, see, it's like sort of like sweet and condensed milk consistency. Alright guys, so I went ahead and took out our rolls from the oven and next I'm just going to go ahead and sort of like lift these from the sides. And the reason I went ahead and lift the stuff off of the sides is because we're going to go ahead and frost these guys. And I want everything to like fall just around the edges. Alright guys, so it's time for the taste test cam, and I'm not too much into sweets, but I'm going in for this one. Here we go. Mmm. Whoa. Those are so, like, ooey and gooey. And for a second there, I forgot that I put almonds in it, and I thought I was going to choke on something, but then I was like, oh wait, no, it's just an almond. I thought I, like, broke a tooth, and I was going to, like, I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> But no, these are so, so good. If you need to take something somewhere with no time on your hands, make some of this and these will be a crowd pleaser. Yes. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and hashtag Let's Get Veggie. If you make this recipe or any of my recipes, I would love to see what you made and I would love to hear uh, how you liked it. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.